Well, hello there. Are you ready to hear the most fearsome fairy tale in all the land? Well, we'll see how it, how it goes. So I'm here in base race. Uh, animal is in the background. And oh, I have a newfound respect for y'all that build these wonderful builds. Because... Um, I don't know how you do it. I just don't know how you do it. <laughs> so let's go see where are we headed off to in the tall grass heading towards the dark and spooky forest. Ooh. And as we walk through the pathway we see these odd sculptures and Possibly altars, we don't know. And as we walk through our little pathway here, we get sprinkled with fairy dust from our happy hoppers, or not hoppers, droppers. And we come and look who we find. We find the princess fairy overseeing the dark forest and protecting it from any evil. Anywhere we go, we get sprinkled with fairy dust from our droppers. We have our fairy tale. Where'd he go? Fairy tale chicken somewhere around here. Oh, chicken! He was sitting perched up on that uh, brewing. Oh, there he is, brewing stand. Here's our little. Instead of a raven, we have a chicken. Hello, chicken. So this is our fairy Glen. <coughs> it didn't look exactly like our drawings that we had made um, but I, I still like it so and this is what I mean by you know you look at animal and then you look at our fairy <laughs> oh, big difference big difference I thought I could do a miniature kind of build but have discovered that you really if you wanted to look uh, like the character or, or your drawing or something you've got to go big Go big or go home. So yes, so this is our fairy glen. And this is where the fairy godmother of the fairy princess, and that would be me, where she sleeps so that she can tend to her, her granddaughter, the fairy princess. So the hardest thing I found about this challenge was using up all the stone and and the gravel and you know you have a stack of 65 and I was building relatively small build um, you know <laughs> so I just kinda started at the very end I just started going oh gosh what can I do with with more gravel and more stone so here's our our um, kinda like a moat it goes all the way around our little respite here which is supposed to look like two fairy wings like old fairy wings or something it could be it could be the fairy grandmother's fairy wings now that she's old and and doesn't use them anymore uh, you never know so this is part of my build and so as you can see I used the soul sand and and just tried to after a while, it was just kind of like, okay, where can I put this block? Where can I put this block? So the other part of our story is when the explorer comes up on the dark forest and he may or may not decide to go into the, tunt, the um, little covered uh, walkway into the fairy glen, Oh, and I was going to say that the soul sand is because no matter how nice and sweet a little fairy may seem, they always have a dark side. I don't know if you realize that from reading your grim fairy tales and, and stuff, but there's always a little darkness to the fairies. Okay, so let's go out this way. So if the adventurer comes up upon the fairy glen and decides he, he's too scared to go through there, and he decides to take this path right here, which wanders, this is where I ended up using the rest of the stone and gravel, wanders through the forest, 
into the dark forest, following the path, wondering what shall I find at the end of this path. And he comes upon... If ne now, this is scary enough during the daytime, but if it were nighttime, I don't, I'd be like, this is why I left it all lit up like this, because I'm a scaredy pants. And I was working. Oh, when we come upon a weary traveler who has, looks like he's been in a fight. Sir, sir, what, what are you doing out here? And he says, I have a warning for you. Do not go any further. There is only death for you. Oh, okay, well, there's danger and death, and I say, well, danger is my middle name, so I think I'll keep going. And where do we find? We come upon this waterfall, and where does this waterfall take us? <laughs> it takes us to Surprise, surprise, the old abandoned mine shaft. I tell you, this mine shaft has got. Oh, look, I didn't find these when I was doing my. Or did I? Maybe I did. Uh, the old abandoned mine shaft that covers the underground. As far as the eye can see. Oh, look, it goes down there, too. Well, I was thinking it would end me up in a dark cave, and I was going to be like... Finish the... Oh, there's some. Oh, spider! Finish the story. Does the fairy grandmother survive another day to see her fairy gr uh, granddaughter, princess? Or does she get eaten alive by the poisonous spider and the zombie stuck in the spider web? You decide. <laughs> All right. So, I hope you, now that I can't get back up to my build, I hope you enjoyed my little build, my, our fairy Glen. And, and uh, poor Lexi, I was trying to build that fairy. Oh, that's a ravine right there. Uh, I was trying to build that fairy, and it just wasn't looking like her picture because she's a very artistic child. And, and she was drawing. She said, oh, it's supposed to look like this. I'm like, I can't build it like that unless I build it super big like animal. And I'm like, I don't know how to do that kind of stuff. So anyway, so I will see you. Oops, let's turn this way. I will see you um, for the September challenge, which is Lost. And I'm like, I don't know a whole lot about the show Lost. So I guess we'll just be wandering aimlessly around lost. I don't know. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye.